and welcome to Denslet, a channel for intelligent and curious people like you. We are searching for human sexuality in the area of artificial intelligence. And you know, in this channel, uh, we try to find the best possible answer to a question. And today's question is, what are the uh, mechanisms that mix softness and strength in robot partner? In my previous video, I uh, talked about some key features that uh, usually makes a human and robot partner at the same time soft and durable. Today we'll uh, talk about more about it, of course, but uh, we'll give you some specific examples of mechanisms that can be used to maintain softness, flexibility, and durability in a human and robot. But before we proceed, let me tell you one thing. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. And if you have already subscribed, uh, tons of thanks. Uh, I hope in the future I'll get the support. And finally, although, although I talk about uh, human sexuality, uh, human sexual behaviors, amazing psychological facts about uh, human sexuality, but there is no vulgarity in this channel. And I don't promote any kind of vulgarity through this channel. All I talk about is scientific facts, especially the technology behind the human and robots. Now, let's come back to our topic. The mechanisms include a uh, few things like uh, soft actuators. We have heard actuators and I discussed about actuators uh, in my previous videos. But soft actuators are made from soft materials and can deform to produce motion. It's a kind of new concept, of course. There are a variety of different types of soft actuators, including pneumatic actuators, hydraulic actuators, and uh, dielectric actuators, elastometer, elastomer actuators. Uh, pneumatic actuators use compressed air to deform a soft chamber, while hydraulic actuators use pressurized fluid uh, and dielectric, uh, dielectric uh, actuator uh, use an electric field to deform a thin film of elastomer. So there are different types of uh, mechanisms you can see. Uh, and of course, there are series of elastic actuators. This is very important because Series elastic actuators, we also called it C, A C A, uh, in capital letter, a type of actuator that has a spring in series between the motor and the load. Uh, this spring allows the actuator to absorb impacts and to move in a more complete, compliant way, so that in any kind of physical intimate act, uh, this uh, series act elastic actuators can take the impact and make the human and robot. Uh, or prepare the human and robot to uh, behave or react in the similar way. Uh, it is specially made for the joints, such as the ankles, knees, and you know, there are a lot of other joints, leg joints, etc. And there are also uh, mechanisms like compliant materials or durable coatings. These are also very important for uh, making a robot at the same time soft and uh, robust and durable. Uh, compliant materials are materials that can deform and absorb energy without breaking. These materials are often uh, used in uh, soft robots and in soft uh, components for robots with rigid frames. Okay, examples of compliant materials include polymers, uh, elastomers, and foams, of course. And durable coatings are nothing but uh, it can be applied to soft uh, materials I just uh, talked about to protect them from wear and tear. These coatings can be made from a variety of materials such as silicone, uh, rubber, uh, and uh, polyurethane thin kind of things. There are a lot of uh, many complicated uh, things that, in fact, uh, only the robotists can explain how they uh, work in, in, in a human robot. I can give you a brief examples, nothing more than that. Anyway, I hope uh, this gives you a little bit information about a human robot partner. So thanks for watching. Uh, take care and stay safe.